Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Cobb. Today we're going to go through one of my very favorite grip exercise series so that you can develop more coordinated, more mobile, and stronger hands. Now, if you're new to Z-Health, we are a brain-based education company. One of the things that we have said for many years is that developing world-class practitioners, whether they be doctors, therapists, or coaches, is the main thing that we focus on. We have students in over 110 countries around the world. If that fits you, you're an elite practitioner in the movement arts, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also check us out online. So let's talk about the brain and the hand really fast because grip work is critical for most people in terms of their long, long-term usefulness <laughs> in life. Uh, whenever we look at the research, we know that people who have stronger grips often will live longer. Now that is not to say that just doing grip work will automatically in uh, increase your lifespan. It's probably just a correlative thing. Uh, people with stronger grip usually are more active. So we are not saying that solving grip issues will make you live longer, but it is a interesting biomarker that we can look at to say, hey, are we being active enough? And are we challenging ourselves enough to continue to maintain strength over time? So one of the things that I've noticed over the years of working with athletes and going people going through rehab is that a lot of people will do grip work, but it's kind of secondary to everything else they're doing when deadlifting or whatever in terms of strength. They're doing a lot of pull-ups, but what we tend to do is we tend to develop grip strength in a relatively neutral position, and we wind up not making the hand and wrist more intelligent. When we look at the brain, a vast amount of brain space is devoted to controlling our hands, knowing where they are in space, and making sure that we have both mobility and strength in multiple positions. So whenever we don't regularly challenge our grip in unusual ways, there are potentially areas of the brain that are not responding or not being activated as a result of that lack of activity. So this is a very simple series of exercises that you can do to really start to educate and improve coordination, mobility, and strength of your hands and wrist. So to do this, you just need to remember four primary positions, thumbs up, thumb to the inside, thumb to the outside, thumb facing the ground. Those are gonna be your four primary positions. We then have three secondary. So we have wrist in neutral, wrist flexed, wrist extended. All right. So we have four primary and three secondary. This exercise is called grip spirals. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a club, a stick, something that's going to give me just a little bit of resistance. This is about a two pound metal club that I like to use for this particular exercise. You can go much heavier as you get stronger, but honestly, in the beginning, most people don't need anything more than like a you know paper towel roll or something very light uh, because simply being in some of these positions is going to feel awkward you're going to get a lot of strain stretching sensations so don't go heavy in the beginning focus on the quality of the movement here are the basic things that we need to do we're going to get into a position make sure the arm is supported we're going to begin in thumbs up position wrist in neutral and we're going to be making a spiral with the tip of the club we're going to do three to five in each direction that feels really super simple, shouldn't be any problem at all. Now we go to our next secondary position, which is wrist flexion. So I'm bringing my palm toward me. I now need to maintain that as I go through my spirals, again, focusing on the top of the stick. And then I'm gonna go into my extended position and I'm gonna repeat those same spirals. Now, what you'll notice as you do this is your desire is going to be to come back to neutral every single time. So you really have to focus on maintaining those secondary positions as you go through the spirals. From there, go to the thumbs pointing in position. Wrist is in neutral, and we're going to repeat three in each direction, and then we're going to flex the wrist. We're gonna let it hand drop down, hold that position. And if you have enough weight in the stick, you're gonna really feel this working you quite hard. And then from there, we're gonna go into a extended position. Maintain that extended position as we go through our circles. So now you got the idea. It's three to five repetitions in each direction of the circle in our four primary with three secondary positions. It is not a lot of repetition. The reason for that is that as most people get into these more constrained and weird positions, if you have any weight at all in your hand, you're going to get a lot of stretching sensations and you may feel very uncoordinated. I promise you do this two or three times a week for the next month, your wrist and hand are going to feel very different. You'll feel much more coordinated and you will be able to generate force in ways that you've not been able to and feel safe doing so. 
The last thing I wanna point out as we do this is the thumbs down position. This one can be very challenging because of the internal rotation of the shoulder. So when you're doing this one, feel free to let your scapula rotate around a little bit so that you're not feeling a lot of stress in the shoulder itself. I sometimes will even have people brace this arm or use a band so that they can just focus on the movements happening in the wrist. That is a very important exercise that you focus on because I have seen so many injuries in my career of people reaching into the back seat of the car, uh, grabbing something, trying to lift it up, rotate it and bring it to the front seat. This is that thumbs down position. We need smart, intelligent, strong, mobile hands and wrists in that position. So don't leave that one out. All right. I hope you enjoy this. Give it a shot. Spend some time with it. Uh, again, your hands, your wrist, your arms and your brain. will thank you.